Hi there, my name is Tomasz Motelski and I'm the owner of Mazlus Company. Today I would like to show you two types of tents from our offer. It's so-called spoked pavilion and puzzle type tent. Uh, I will make fast review and speak a bit um, about the advantages and disadvantages. Okay, first of all, we have to set them up so we'll be back soon as only the tents will be erected. Okay, it didn't took long. Uh, the tent is now standing. Most of the ropes are secured and it stands firmly. Now it's time to put the spokes into the umbrella type tent. Let's go. Okay, so half half of the job is already done. The roof section is standing. It's, it's stretched nicely, as you can see, so we can hang the walls. Okay, so the tent is ready. Uh, we are setting up right now puzzle type tent, but for now let's take a look at details of umbrella type tent. Okay, and now let's take a look inside the tent. What you can see on the first look are the spokes. Uh, spokes makes you some nice attic inside the tent. So that's the additional space that you can use for storing some light materials, like for example your clothes. Uh, now, you often ask, are they durable, are they strong, and what kind of wood we use. We use only hardwood like ash, beech wood, Stuff, stuff, stuff like this. Mm, is it strong? Well, let's take a look. I weighed about 80 to 80 kilos, and as you can see, nothing bad happened to the construction of tent. Mm, the only metal part of this wooden uh, of this uh, rack is this socket that, for a better look, we covered it with a uh, rope. Mm, what else? Walls are hanging on wooden buttons that are stitched uh, to the inside seam of roof. There are no ropes that go from the outside into the tent, so there is no uh, possibility for, uh, for leaks. In the past, in some other constructions, of this kind of tent, um, the rope go from the outside into the tent and it allows the water to be transported. There will be some small drops going into the tent, but we uh, get rid of that problem. I will show you that detail when we go outside. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so that's the detail that I was talking about. As you can see, the ropes are attached to pieces of fabric that is sewed into the roof construction so it doesn't go inside the tent so there is no um, possibility for that rope that uh, for transporting water inside the tent Tada! sudden change of scenery sorry folks i noticed that i had wrong microphone and nothing could be heard, so I decided to go inside and speak about this detail uh, here. Okay, we are talking about the bottom edge of the tent. There is a bottom loop for peg. Uh, in all of our tents, there is always reinforcement with leather and piece of rope. It's in this shape or in this shape if there is a additional wind flap. Other producers make it like this, They're, it's just a simple piece of um, linen that you can make it even from scraps. Uh, it's easier, cheaper, so why don't we use this solution? Simply because it's not practical. The bottom edge of tent is the most exposed part for rotting, for water, for, for damage from humidity. Yeah? 
Uh, that's why we chose this option. Uh, with time, this rope and this piece of fabric will rot and will be broken. As the Murphy's Law say, it will be in the most unexpected and uncomfortable moment for you. If this snaps, you have to repair it. Eh? Yeah, you have to replace it with another piece of fabric. You need, you can do it by hand, sure. You can stitch it, but you need thread, you need needle, and you need much more time. If this snaps, you just simply remove the rope with, with a new one. There is a big chance that you will have it in your encampment when you're going uh, for, for the event. It will take you half a minute and everything is working okay. That's why we prefer it this way. Sure, if it's more work for us, uh, but less for you in the future. Uh, it's a bit more complicated, but still it's more effective. So let's go back outside. Okay, so we set up the basal type tent, so now let's take a look at details. So we are inside the tent and what can we say? That there is no attic. No spokes, no attic, but also but also less uh, less stuff to transport, yeah. So this tent is for sure easier in transport and a bit faster to set up. Walls hang in similar way as in mm, umbrella type tent. We have just one pole inside of the tent. The metal socket is also covered with rope for better look. So let's go outside. And now the second difference from the spoke type pavilion uh, at the external ropes. They are not tripled at the end, but as you can see they are ended with metal hook that stretched uh, the edge of the roof. And I think that's all. Right now I will move camera because here the sun tries to blind me up uh, and I will speak about both the tents. Okay, so let's sum it up a bit. Now, what are the disadvantages and advantages of both types of tents? Well, umbrella type tent gives you some nice attic that you can uh, use as a storage space for some light objects, uh, but also takes a bit more space uh, in transport. There are 16 pegs, uh, 16 not pegs, but spokes like this. Uh, that you can that you must fit into a car of course uh, such a spokes are with five meters umbrella tent uh, four meters umbrella tent have spokes that are uh, 120 centimeters long uh, instead of those that are 160 centimeters long mm, so a bit more space in your car uh, a bit more time to set up this tent but is it a really big problem? I don't think so. The basal type tent needs only one long pole that has four meters. Uh, of course, it is divided into two pieces for easier transport. Mm, and that's all. Uh, the fabric takes the same space, I think, in, in both tents. They are, there are similar number of pegs used to set up those tents. So there are no big differences, but still there are some. Uh, what I didn't tell you, I think, is that all our tents uh, comes with uh, wooden pegs that of course you can replace them in, your, in the order, you can replace them with uh, metal ones. Um, that tent was built with wooden pegs, it stands without any problem. Uh, what is better? Of course steel pegs are more durable 
they will last longer but on the other hand they are not really historically correct because in the middle ages they would rather use wooden ones but still for your comfort you can choose the, the steel bags okay so i think it's all for now i encourage you to check our offer uh, visit our fan, uh, facebook fan page give us a like if you if you want and check our young youtube channel till the next time